Welcome back, everyone. Uh, let's head up to the interview by Wired Wiki. Yeah, hello, I'm Wired Wiki. Um, I'm sitting here with Tricro, and I'm gonna have an interview with him about his upcoming game, which is XCOM 2. Uh, it should be a fun one. Um, it's a very uh, known game. Uh, it's not typically a speed uh, speed run, but it's quite enjoyable to do so. Yes. Um, so, what what's the game actually about? Uh, well, um, aliens have attacked, and you're trying to essentially repel the aliens. Uh, XCOM is a quite a long uh, franchise that's been going on for quite a few years now, and this is uh, XCOM 2. Not quite the second iteration, it's had quite a few versions before XCOM 1 and XCOM 2, but yeah. Yeah, and I heard a pretty inter interesting thing about uh, it being the uh, sequel to XCOM 1, but not. It, it, it's, it's quite interesting, right? Uh, yeah, so um, they decided, since a lot of people just did not finish XCOM 1, or did not succeed in saving everybody in XCOM 1 and repelling the aliens, they made it canon to actually, um, we failed saving the Earth, and now in XCOM 2 we are the rebels trying to hide away and beat back the alien forces. So that's always quite fun, that they went to in that sort of direction. Yeah, so basically, if you actually beat XCOM 1, like the way it was intended, then you have played it wrong, apparently. Yeah, that's not the canon way, so make sure you uh, have your characters die and you lose. Um, yeah. yeah, that's the perfect way of playing it. So, um, uh, the run that I'll be doing is uh, using heroes in the game, which are special uh, names you can input as the characters uh, to give you special abilities and upgraded people. Uh, so the particular ones I'll be using are Sid Meier, um, and then also uh, Peter Van Dorn. Um, there is also Beagle Rush, you can choose that as a nickname and have that happen, but we won't be using that character in the run. Which is that those, if you've uh, experienced or knowledgeable about XCOM history, those names will of course... I mean, you might know who Sid Meier is if you know Civilization I don't know, at all, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so is, th is this your favorite category of the game? Um, well, I in, I do enjoy the gl with glitched um, since you can just make the run so much faster. But this is more of a purist, um, pure run, but with upgraded people, so it's n less brain work. I will say I do quite like the uh, no save abuse, no heroes, just because that's solely you trying to play the game. People will still complain at you because you're playing on easy, but like you can never win. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, then I have one last question. Um, is the game going to crash? Well, I shouldn't do, but maybe once. I mean, oh, here's the thing. I told Reek and I told um, Zeta, uh, every crash that happens in this run, making this official now, 10 euros. So, let, let's see. Hopefully I don't crash too many times this time. <laughs> I mean, it would be good for charity. Yeah. Yeah, always good for charity, and that's the important part. Save, save the charity, save the aliens. Is there anyone that wants to match this uh, incentive? People at home, please? <laughs> it's it's for charity. Come yeah. on. All right, and with that, I think um, yeah, this was a this was a fun interview. Your run is up um, in like an hour, an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So make sure you uh, you'll check that out, and then we go to the next run. So thanks uh, thanks for uh, for being here, Trigo. Yeah, th thank you for being here as well to interview me, and I think we've already been passed on. Yes, so uh, good luck and see you, uh, see you later this marathon. Yes, thank you, Tricro and Wired Wiki for that interview. And uh, um, up next, we will have um, a Zephyr, one wicked cricket by the plumber himself. But, you know, setup is taking a little longer than expected, so <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs>